experienced same-sex attraction when I think I was in secondary school. I recall feeling I really, really, really liked uh, one of my classmates, but I didn't know what it really was until later on. I was unsure about it because I knew that nobody was talking about feeling these kind of feelings for a classmate of same-sex, so I definitely didn't bring it up to anybody. I chose to kind of ignore it instead. I didn't have a coming out experience. My parents more like they told me that they knew that I was not straight. So we went to the petrol kiosk one day and my dad went out to pay for the petrol and then my mom turned around and I was the only one in the car. So she turned around and looked at me and she was like, you know daddy, and I just want you to be able to find somebody who can take care of you, no matter whether it's a boy or a girl. And that's how I knew that they knew. And I can only imagine the conversations that they've had before that. I've decided in recent times to come out more publicly because I've seen the kind of environment and climate that is evident today in how a lot of people in different countries are being treated really horribly or killed, you know, just for being who they are. And I think in a different time, in a different place, I could have possibly been that person. Looking at how my environment is so safe and I feel like I don't really have much to worry about, I kind of almost feel that responsibility to step it up and to do more because I feel like if I'm not doing more, then I'm doing more harm than good. I definitely had some reservations coming out uh, and talking about this more publicly because human beings can be quite mean these days. I, I definitely worry about negative reactions or what people might say but I think in the end, I'm more afraid of not doing anything than how it, people will react if I did something. I think that approached me to be ambassador sometime end last year. Jumped on the opportunity to say yes because I think I've always kind of really wanted to be Pink Dot Ambassador but never felt like I deserved to. <laughs> so I've, I've been to a couple of Pink Dots and always really enjoyed the atmosphere and felt like this was an opportunity that I could not pass. And I said, I said yes. What I really, really want to achieve is getting more word out, basically. Just being a representation of a person with disability who is queer. And I think we just need more of that in the public space. You know, I remember growing up thinking that I don't see many disabled people in the media or just in general. And to grow up and realise how important it is to see someone that you can identify with outside. Um, when you look in the papers or in the TV or movies, I think it's really important. And for me, I just want to be that kind of representation and just get as much as of the word out as possible and hopefully get people more comfortable talking about LGBT issues in Singapore. In the past couple of years, I'm, I've become more and more comfortable with identifying as a LGBT person and being able to say that like in media interviews or just on my Facebook or talking to friends is so freeing and so indescribable. Like it's something that I wish I had done sooner but I understand that sometimes things take time and I'm really glad that I am able to be in the time that I am now and be the person that I am now. At the end of everything I just want to be able to look back and say that I have not wasted my life and I have lived as truthfully and happily as I can. I just want to be happy. <laughs>